uh, Reggie Crawford. It's funny that he referenced that name. There was a video came out last night. Yeah, and my buddy Matt had sent it to my group thread, and then you sent it to the group thread as well. And so when I got off the diamond at Moscone, which was the windiest, coldest night of all time yesterday, um, I looked at all the missed messages, and I was like, Oh, okay, Reggie Crawford. Let's go. He was a UConn two-way mm-hmm. player that they took in the first round, uh, end of the first round, because I think it was after the, the 2021 season. Um, and again, like he said, Tommy John surgery, very exciting. The Wizen Hunt kid I've been seeing and hearing. I didn't know the B word, Bumgarner, like, uh, would be a, attached to his Gardner. name. I mean, you're talking about that's high praise in this organization. Speaking of Bumgarner, boy, he might be cooked. I think attitude is one of his biggest problems. Yeah. And, you know, his work velocity ethic. is dipped, work ethic. And you look at Bob Gardner and say, boy, the Giants dodged a bullet, not extended him, not giving him a big time deal. And that's where Farha come in, not having that attachment with uh, Madison Bob Gardner. Mm-hmm. Like if Bobby Evans had kept a job, we love Bobby Evans. But if he had kept a job, he may give Bob Gardner another three year, $70 million deal. And now, it, you know, you look at across the street. You look at the Warriors down the street, I should say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the Draymond Green situation. I think there's Optic a lot of similarities. Out and Clay Thompson. There's you put a lot Clay of Thompson in that same bucket. Yeah. Do you want to extend Clay and Dre? Do you want to continue to run it back as they're in their 30s? How are they going to age? What if you do give them a if, contract and it doesn't work out and it flames out like Bob Gardner did in Arizona? If I told you in 2015 or 2016 uh, when he pitched the wild card game, 2017, Bum Gardner would not finish his career with the Giants. Would you have been surprised? Because I think I would have been surprised. I don't think I would have been surprised. Honestly, I wouldn't. I don't think really? so. Really? Yeah, I, I don't think I would have Coming been surprised. Coming off of that? I don't think I would have been surprised. It's nothing lasts forever. I, I don't I don't think I would have been surprised. I think I would have been very surprised. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. I, I don't think I was surprised either. When he moved on, and I wasn't surprised when they didn't trade him. Well, they because it was Bochy's last. Back. They weren't going to get it. They yeah. missed a window to trade him. Yeah, exactly. You got to trade him with a year left yes. and some change yes. on the deal, right? Yes. You that's get to that different. last year, teams are like, dude, I'm not giving you a high level prospect for a guy for two months of the season. And then the Giants had gotten, whether you believe it or not, they were within that wild card race. They were four games back, and I know there's a bunch of teams above them, but they were not going to trade Bob Gardner during Bochy's last season. It, so now you look at it to go to State Warriors, you have a prime example with the Giants. I know it's a different sport. But look at how Brandon Belt aged. Look at how Brandon Crawford's aged. Uh, have you seen what Brandon Belt's doing right now? Uh, last time I checked, he was batting 180. That was like a month ago. He's not doing anything. Well, he's gotten worse. Well, he's just not doing anything. So like, he's batting these, like seventh or eighth. All these people like, they're going to miss him defensively. They haven't. You heard Dave Fleming. Yeah, they haven't missed him defensively. You know, They certainly haven't missed his bat. The Blue Jays are last in the AL East right now. Which is, they're probably, uh, them, the Cardinals, the Mets, some of the most disappointing teams in baseball. Yeah, Brandon Belt. He did go two for five yesterday. Oh, oh he's, he's up to 264. Oh, great. He's still not that good. Two home runs. When, yesterday? Ten RBIs. No, no just, just in general. Oh, on the yeah. season. Because they did yeah. win 20 to 1 against the Rays. 49 strikeouts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he has not been good. I thought he'd be better in that division. I thought he'd be better. Well, I do feel I do feel like if, if we're, you know, going to go full circle here, I'm not here to say that Casey Schmidt saved, you know, Farhan's job because it's bigger than that. But it does feel like just the call up of Casey Schmidt and him being legitimate. Not even like I didn't, he's not Julio Rodriguez. Like Julio Rodriguez was a freaking comet, right? Like the guy's yeah. a superstar and he's having a down year by most people's, you know, uh, expectations. But like Casey Schmidt coming up, I just think it changes how you're viewing everything. Well, Farhan gets a new. We're gonna. By the way, we're gonna talk to Gabe Kapler Thursday at nine thirty here in the morning roast, which is tomorrow. Wow, Thursday that is tomorrow. Wow, week's wow. flying, and you want no management. You want days off. Thursday's tomorrow. This week's flying by. Gabe Kapler, nine thirty tomorrow here in the morning roast. Manager of the Giants. How do we feel about him and Farhan now? Now that the team's playing better. Now look, we're only through forty eight games. A lot can change. A lot could change. They're 500, though. But they're back to 500. Now, I don't like to say, hey, they were 500 last year because, look. <laughs> they were. They were terrible. They had a great September. They were, though. You get some bad baseball teams. Whatever. <laughs> we know how bad they were last year. But 
I'm, I'm still looking at them and I'm saying, boy, they got the you and they're playing their youngsters. Mm -hmm. They're playing their youngsters. Remember last year when I told you that Estrada was having a really, really good year and I was really excited for him. And I'm not just saying you, I'm saying just people in general will be like, yawn. Now a year later, like Estrada's legit. Well, you got to see the consistency. I agree with that. You can't just do it one I, year. As you we know, talk about you, Brock Purdy. Right. You right? can't just do it one year. You can't I, just I'm do it you. for a few months. But, but got, isn't he like I'm I'm being honest, he's gotten significantly better defensively because he was bad defensively. He's playing like an all-star. He really is. He's playing like an all-star. Uh, He's Camilo, giving me like Ray Durham vibes. Dude, well, Ray Durham. Ray Durham was good. I'm talking early Ray Durham. Early Ray Durham. Early Ray Durham. Durham. I'm talking White Sox. Yeah. You know, yeah. A's. Well, that first year at the Giants, he was solid. Yeah, he was yeah, He was hitting bombs. Then he, he tore his hammy. Yeah, and he tapered off. He tapered off. Um, Casey Schmidt, everything he throws chest high to first base. I mean, he's playing well. He's a beast. It, it giving you, it just the one thing that we wanted to see as Giants fans. If you're going to strike out on Correa, if you're going to strike out on Aaron Judge, well, what about the youngsters? When is the minor leagues up? And remember, a long time we said they wouldn't be ready until 2024. Well, it feels like the Giants have expedited the process a little bit here. Yes, yes. He said, you know what? The hell with it. Because I do think Farhan internally was feeling the heat. I think he was feeling the heat. I think when he so heard too. from the ownership group said, yeah, he has another year. We're going to pick up the option. Yeah. We're not guaranteeing anything. I think they felt the heat, and they got off to that slow start. And it was like, well, you know what? If we're going to lose games, yeah. if we're going to be boring, let's at least do it with our youngsters. Yes. And I think now they're feeling that heat, and they're saying, oh, wait. The youngsters are playing well. They don't look overwhelmed. And now they get to work out the kinks at the big league level. You seem to be really excited about Camilo Duvall. I am. Why? Because it's just, you got a guy in the ninth inning I can give the ball to and shut it down. Yeah. And, like, I know a lot of these teams like to go closer by committee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't have like a set closer guy. by committee. Give me the guy. Yeah, I'm And this guy's you. getting the ball. I'm with you. And he's going out there. Th he's throwing 101 <laughs> mile an hour sinker yesterday, man. Does that, does that like, grip talk when I'm talking about the, how they're gripping pitches and the kinds of pitches they're throwing? Is that too goofy? Am I, am I getting too baseball geeky? That's Matt Nahegan. Well, I'm asking you. You're my partner. Well, I, listen, man. Do you kind of roll your eyes when I ask Flynn a question I, like no, that? No, no, no. I, like I don't to do want to lose like, the audience. Well, so conversations that I've had in the past. Okay. When I work with the voice of the Niners and we start talking about cover two shells <laughs> and cover two sky, <laughs> I like that stuff. Okay. Okay. I like the X's. I like the I like the whiteboard talk. Yeah. I like the X's and O's. That's why I love Baldy. Yes. Where you get the D A gap, B gap, C gap, D gap, and now you got three techniques. I love that stuff. But does the casual fan understand that stuff? I don't know. So when we go to baseball, yeah. especially baseball, where it's a more complex sport. It is. Do people understand that? I don't know. I do. But I like that the television now shows you because they know the repertoires of guys. Right. And they try to do the best they can to show you like, oh, sinker, 96 miles an hour. Four seam fastball, you know, yeah. 98 miles an hour or whatever. Uh, and it's not always 100% accurate, but I like that. And, and as the YouTube chat is pointing out, Duvall comes in with the ice. Oh, dude. He's, he comes in with the earrings. And a new glove every time. He's got time. the swag. He brings a new glove he out He basically every time. has like five different gloves because I'm a big glove guy. He uh, is a 44 guy or a Mar is he Marucci? Right. He's Marucci or 44. I, I he's not know. conventional Rawlings and Wilson. And he's got a different kind of glove. He got black. He's got an orange tan one. He's got some sweet gloves. Yeah, like, no I doubt. really like his glove game. All right. So I, I just like his swagger. And he goes in there and he shuts it down and throws 100 miles an hour. I love that. Yeah. So you got a guy. You do love a well, I'm just throw, like, huh? I, I just, I, I love a flamethrower, but I look, he's got stuff to seek. It's nasty. I know. It's nasty. So you got a legit all star, Camilo Duvall. A legit all star. And I, I think so this too. guy could be an all star for many years to come. Best closer since Brian Wilson? Yeah, that's not a stretch. I mean, I mean, I know Romo had moments. Mm. I didn't ever view Romo as. I thought as you'd a go best closer since Rob did. I think Duvall right well, now is better than Brian Wilson. I mean, Wilson was pretty freaking good. He was good. He had a few years, no yeah, doubt. He was pretty good, dude. He, was he gave good. his right arm for the organization. I think the has got better stuff than Brian Wilson. Interesting. I think he's more talented closer than Brian Wilson. Well, Brian Wilson was fastball slider, and that was it. And it was primarily fastball. Like, when I watched him pitch, I never thought, like, oh. Yeah. He's I, out thinking, guys. Yeah, no, no, he's I, just trying to blow by you. I, I, I like what's going on there. So, I I, I love I love Duvall. I love where the Giants are at, but they're playing the youngsters. What we wanted to see, okay, you're going to strike out on Aaron Judge and the Correa situation happened, which I was never high on in the first place. Mm -hmm. I thought they were trying to just clear up their tracks and Correa quietly. I didn't like the way the Giants handled it, mm -hmm. but the deal itself, I remember I was like, I can't get 
Carlos Correa, like uh, thirteen years for anyone. I just, I, I it wasn't just, even I remember that, that it was conversation Carlos, that day. Right, we were angry about the metaphor of everything that went down, but I we kept saying, I remember it because this was a conversation. We can argue about whether thirteen years for any player, right, is foolish, but how the whole thing went down was absolutely a nightmare. Yeah, it was classless. It was a little classless. Giants had to bounce back from that. They did. They did not handle that situation well. But Carlos Correa was like, I don't know, man. We read the box score. I remember people, you know, argue with me. And I was just like, uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. Um, about and, that. So anyway. It, I, I, I feel the most optimistic watching the Giants that I've had in a long time. And I'm starting to see things kind of turn around. Um, I'm, I'm seeing kids see really get into it. I just happen to see some young guys with some swagger. It's about time. You know, that's all I want to see. That's all I want to see. Um, 888-957-9570. We're going to talk to <laughs> John Curley special. Marty Mortenwig. Marty Mortenwig, uh, former NFL head coach and offensive coordinator. <laughs> My man. I love these Twinkie uniforms with the yeah. white front on the hat. I really like these Twins uniforms that they're, um, they're showing from last night's game as Duvall's on the mound right now. I think he's a Marucci guy. Yeah. I think that's a black Marucci glove. Well, he's legit. So you got an all-star in Duvall. I think he's a premier closer in baseball. You got that, all right? You got Tyro Estrada. Yeah, okay, you got that. You got that with Tyro Estrada. Casey Schmidt looks like a keeper. Should never go down to the minor league club uh, ever again. Patrick Bailey, I like what I see. The glove's legit. like what I see. Remember the conversation before the season? He's not going to be ready until 2024, well, that's really? What, I mean, I was just reading what No, the, it wasn't the, true. I'm just saying that was the talk. That yeah. was the talk. No, you're right. Well, the experts are wrong. They're, they're wrong. <laughs> He's up. And he's not going back down. Yeah, they, they need his defense. I've already seen more from him with the glove than Bart ever has. And I've seen I've seen some things at the plate that make me more optimistic about him long term at the plate than Bart. Yeah, no doubt. No Bart's doubt. been just uh... Yeah, it's been uh... All right, we'll get into some hoops. We'll get into some football on the other side. It was a lot of fun talking some baseball here. Giants are rolling right now. Seven to three in their last hit. Sweep the Phillies with two out of three against the Marlins. When the first two against the Twins. How about the Giants right now? Back to 500 at 24-24. We'll see what they do today against the Tweakies. Can they wait three in a row against the Twins? Just, hey, look, it's Memorial Day weekend coming up. Just be in the mix, right? Be, be in the mix in by the July. Mix. I'm, I'm not going to talk playoffs quite yet. No, no, no. I didn't mean that. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, the fact that they're in the mix is a good thing. Well, everybody's going to be in the mix. You know, they well, let everybody in the, the playoffs A's. now. They let it set the A's the and the Rockies. And by the way, the A's have given up 151 runs with two outs. It was like the most in baseball. I was watching the A's post game last night with Stewart Brody. It's like that. They, they do have uh, my guy Ruiz, though. Still at bases, left and right. Got me back 25th, in the fantasy race. 25th last night. Wow. Most wow. There's a lot of 60. Ruiz fans on this show. Wow. I got Ruiz in the fantasy. He's a Wall Street do hustler. What's his good. first name? Estuary Ruiz. Estuary, yeah. No, Sam. Oh, sorry. That was I was going to say, I know me. who he is. He was not going to get that. No, I was going to get it. I have. A, I think I, he would have gotten it. Yeah. The guy can't get a Diana but, Ross song. But you got to realize that's music. This is sports. <laughs> that is on brand for Bonte to know who Estuary Ruiz that is, but not right Diana there. Ross. I mean, like the Spanish pronunciation is probably Esteuri, right? Esteuri. Yeah, Esteuri. I don't know. Well, I had him last year when he was a Padre prospect. He got traded away, yeah. and I was waiting for him to come up. He was with the Brewers, and he barely played. So anyway. 